Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to go over how to send an email notification after a survey has been submitted. This is really helpful when you want to be notified if a survey has been completed, when a group of people needs to be notified if a survey has been completed, or if survey results need to go to a specific person or a group of people after a survey response is turned in. Now let's hop into the project and go over how we'll go about doing this. So first I'm going to head into the email notification test survey. And then what I'm going to do to set this up is go to two places. Now with email notifications, there's a fairly quick way of doing it in the survey options with the email trigger. This is in the survey options here, the fourth option left hand side, post survey, email triggers, you're going to click edit trigger. And then in here, you can send to a specific person every single time a survey is completed. So in this case, I have my work email in here and a specific message or piece of information is sent out every single time a survey is completed. So for example, in this case, I could add, hello, you just received another survey response. And this email trigger sends every single time a survey is completed and sends a quick email to my inbox with that response. And the key part about this is the email triggers. Once I save this, come back into here. Every time a survey is completed, I'll get a notification this way. And something to keep in mind is with this response report option checked on, I'll also get a copy, a PDF copy of the person's results mailed right to my inbox. This is a great way of setting up triggers if you do want triggers after a survey response is completed. However, we'll go over this a little later in the video. Email triggers are going to be a deprecated future feature rather in the coming months and years. So we always suggest moving towards the second option of setting this up, which is called workflows. So I'm going to save that trigger as your first option for setting this up. Publish this survey. And then head over to workflows where I'm going to go over how to configure this second way of setting up these email notifications. Now in workflows, it's at the very top here. Second option should be workflows. And then we're going to create a workflow that does the exact same thing an email trigger does, but does it more elegantly and you'll have a lot more flexibility to work with in workflows. So in this case, since I'm looking for an event when a survey is completed, I'm going to click on when an event is received. And then once I click on that, I'll have all these different options. And in this case, I'm going to choose survey response newly created responses. Perfect. Like I said, with workflows, the great thing about them is you have a lot more flexibility as to the type of data you can record and you can trigger off from as compared with email triggers. Workflows are much more powerful. So we always recommend using them. So in this case, I only want newly created responses and I want to ignore incomplete or imported responses. I'm going to finish that. And then now I can get started with creating my workflow. So I'm going to add a task. Now in this case, if I want to replicate the email trigger, I'm going to look for a task that's called an email task. And then in here, just like the email trigger, I'll set up exactly how I want it to be set up. So I can set it up so that it sends to, let's do not that. I set up so it sends to this person every single time a survey response is completed. I'm going to say from Declan, hey, you just received a survey response. And then just like before, I'm going to include the response report so I have access to the PDF of the person's answers and just give a quick message and I can save it. And then once I do that, I'll be good to go. 
hope that clarified things. If you guys do have additional questions or concerns or want to go over other examples on how you can use workflows in different ways, please feel free to leave comments below in the comment section and I'd be happy to take a look at them and create some other videos going over the many different ways you could use workflows to achieve the different things you want on this platform. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon in the next video.